I wanted to do a quick little video just to show you this incredible dog food that I made for Nietzsche. It is, I took a package of chicken thighs with the bones. I'm sure you can see some of the bones. I have one right here. I just wanted to show you how awesome this is. The bones squish, like they just fall apart. I pressure cooked this in my Instapot for three and a half hours with vegetables. And this was the dog food that I wanted to learn how to make. Super healthy. We were buying this for Nietzsche at the last litter and she loved it, but it's like $4 a can and we were going through one to two cans a day. So I wanted to, because I'm wanting to build up her, her milk. So I also am giving her this Milk RX, I mix it with the formula. I mix like four to six ounces of the formula and I add this to it and she loves it. She just laps it right up. But I just wanted to find a way to make her food more appetizing to her so she would eat more so that she can produce more milk. So I'm super excited. Like literally we could eat this food because it's, it's basically chicken soup with carrots, green beans and broccoli. And I added some chicken broth to help make it a little bit salty so that she would be thirsty and drink lots of milk. And so right here, she's the best mama ever. And here is Dionysus. <laughs> she is our seven month old puppy. I'm going to end this video with a look at some of our puppies because they're getting super chunky and this is definitely a result of me helping Nietzsche eat more and give her the milk RX to help supplement her milk supply. But here's one of the puppies. Oh my goodness. These puppies are 10 and 11 days old and they're just so cute. They're so super chunky and just getting so big. Right, Nietzsche? Oh. Anyways, here are our 11 puppies growing and thriving. Nietzsche is an incredible mother, doing great. And like I said, I'm definitely, I am not a professional. This is our second litter of puppies. I had never even seen a puppy be born before our first litter. And so whenever I had questions or concerns, I would research and I would look up videos. I found amazing videos from Standing Stone Kennels. I learned a lot watching a lot of their videos. But if there's, you know, if somebody out there can learn something from what I have learned, then I am all about posting it so that I can help someone because that's what it's all about. So goodbye and thank you. Like and subscribe my videos.